M. Gronghan, the director of the Department of Gynecology and Obstetrics in Second Hospital affiliated to Southeast University. Our focus is pregnancy complicated with liver diseases. Every year, more than 1,000 infants born here, and we carry out management and follow-up for them, as well as their mothers. We have a research group of 15 people doing the work here. Focusing on the treatment for pregnancy women with chronic hepatitis B and uh, hepatitis B mother to child transmission block. Without immunoprophylaxis, up to 19% of infants born to hepatitis B E antigen positive mothers become HBV chronically infected. However, the maternal screening programs and the universal vaccination in newborns with active and passive immunoprophylaxis have dramatically reduced the HBV transmission rates. But even with the use of appropriate prophylaxis with HBV immunoglobin and HBV vaccination, a significant risk of vertical transmission remains particularly in mothers with high viral loads and positive hepatitis B E antigen status. Tail building is known to reduce serum levels of HBV DNA in patients with chronic HBV infection. However, the effects of tail building on vertical transmission of HBV, especially perinatal transmission, remain unknown. We have performed the first open-label prospective study of pregnant women who were positive for the HBV E antigen and had chronic HBV infection. Pregnant women with the chronic HBV infection given tail building during the second or third trimester of pregnancy had significantly reduce the risk of HBV transmission to their infants compared with those who received no treatment. Furthermore, substantially, more mothers who received tail building treatment had reduced the serum levels of HBV DNA and normalized serum levels of ALT. When compared to those who received no treatment, what's more important is that treatment with tail building caused no adverse effects in either mothers or infants. After 28 week follow up, the gestational age, height, and the weight of infant, or congenital deformity all appeared to be normal. Moreover, none of the infants whose mothers received tail building had immunoprophylaxis failure, while 8.6% of infants whose mothers received no treatment were infected. These findings are important because perinatal transmission is the most common route of infection in Asian countries. Now we plan to further investigate the long-term safety of using antiviral therapy during pregnancy for the purpose of treating mothers with chronic HBV infection and preventing HBV transmission to the infant.